So the argument here is that many thinking doesn't lead to profitable trading. So what does? Now, this is a rather, rather long question. But let's just take it together. How do you successfully operate a business where 90% or more fail? A business where your natural urges, we're talking evolution here, ladies and gentlemen, evolution that our minds will do absolutely anything in its power for you to avoid pain. At its core, it wants you not to experience pain. Where a business where your natural urges conflicts with what you have to do, where all conventional trading advice, such as buy low and sell high, is plain wrong. Where the majority of the participants, volume-wise, have more winners than losers. Statistically, every single one of you will have more winning trades than losing trades. Yet, statistically, all of you will have a losing or a falling P&L curve. And that's not because you are stupid. It has got absolutely nothing to do with your level of competency in technical analysis. Absolutely nothing. It has got everything to do with how you handle yourself when you are either winning or losing. And it is my job in the next remaining half an hour to make sure that perhaps you're going to leave here a little wiser. And the next time you are in front of the screen and you are presented with exactly one of those two, two scenarios, which let's face it, it's going to be very soon, you're going to be faced with one of those two scenarios, that you actually act in your own self-best interest, not for the near term, but for the long term. Let's carry on. They have more winners than losers, indicating the skill levels beyond mere randomness, yet still have greater losses than wins, where the ability to interact with the market is present 24 hours a day. You can trade nonstop from Sunday night in New Zealand till Friday night in New York. But not only that, a business where brokers are perpetuating the very thing that makes the solution so far from reach, not pointing fingers at brokers because they are doing us a massive service by making themselves available as intermediaries between us and the market. See, if these is a brilliant product, way superior to futures trading, if you ask me. Yet the brokers themselves will provide all the education that they think we need, actually realizing that we don't need more technical analysis. What we need is mental analysis. We need to be able to handle ourselves and recode and reprogram that evolutionary mind bend of a muscle up here so that it's in the 21st century and it's actually capable of taking risk. Because from an evolutionary point of view, we were not bloody designed to take risk. We're supposed to run away from risk. If there was a rustle in the bushes, we're not going to go over there and go, oh, that sounds interesting. We will run away, thus ensuring our survival. 